Hello, let's talk about projects, programs, and portfolios. First off, let's talk about what a project is. A project has a specific purpose. It creates a unique product, service, or result. It has a definite start and finish. And as a result, it's temporary. Now the new trend, especially with agile projects, is that projects are progressively elaborated. Now projects, let's draw a project, a project box. The project has a project manager or a scrum master in the case of Agile or Scrum. And as you can see, she, in this case, leads, facilitates, ensures that the project gets out on time. And as you can also see, she's awful happy. So there she is, just dancing around this project box. Now, a project can have sub-projects, and there they are. And what I'm going to do is show that the relationship between them. The sub-project is related to the project. This one is 2, and this other one is 2. Each sub-project may have its own project manager, but usually it doesn't. It usually uh, uses the same project manager to lead the sub-projects. Now, they're shown as dotted lines because a lot of projects don't exactly have them, and they're not, uh, it's not required. But if your project is too big and you need to break it up into smaller projects, that's a good way to do it. So let's go ahead and erase those guys, those lines. And I think what I'm going to do is now erase the sub-projects from here. Boom the project box, and I think you all are comfortable with what a project is, so I'm going to get rid of that notepad too. Okay, so let's talk about a program. And a program is a set of projects. In this particular case, you've got a program manager. He looks a little grumpy. And a couple of projects, and what I'm going to do is also show the other project that we have that we saw before. She was the happy one. A program is a collection of related projects usually managed in a coordinated way. Now in this particular case you see that there are different project managers associated with the program and the program has its own program manager. It doesn't necessarily have to be different people leading it. And I'm going to show now uh, a portfolio. A portfolio is a collection of programs and our projects. And within each of those, and within a portfolio, there could be program, projects, and, and I'm going to draw a little bit more. On the side here, there is a project that is not related to the program, nor related to the projects within the program, but this particular project is part of the overall portfolio. So let's talk about an example. First off, I'm going to erase that one too. Let's erase all those lines. I don't like them anyways. Okay, Adobe is a great example of a company that has Adobe applications. Here we go. There's their logo and a little Adobe sign. And within Adobe's applications, uh, they have a portfolio. Within that portfolio, there is a program. In this particular case, I'm going to show it as Adobe Creative Suite number 5. They had Creative Suite number 1, 2, 3, and so on. And they'll probably keep on going with 6, 7, and 8. And within the Creative Suite 5 program, they had a pro program manager and probably a, uh, an assortment of program managers. And then within that portfolio, I'm sorry, within that program, there's a, a number of projects. And as one example, there is the Adobe InDesign, which is desktop publishing project. There's also Photoshop project. Okay. And there's also one of my favorite applications, Adobe Illustrator. There's that represented by its box. And all three of these projects are components and being managed by the overall Creative Suite 5 program. Now that's not the only thing that's in the Adobe application portfolio. They also have another suite of applications. I'm going to show the JRun version 4 
And once again, the JRun application and the project associated with the development and the release of that project is part of the portfolio, but it is not part of the Creative Suite 5 application. Now, I thought I'd mention one other thing. The Adobe folks have a technique that they call forward motion. Now, as a project like the Creative Suite 5 is being developed, management had already started negotiating major new features for the next version of their Creative Suite program. This approach shows continual forward motion and maximizes the effectiveness of the team. So, now you know. Ha, 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 ha.